Hey y'all, welcome back. All right, so Happy New Year. It has been, you know, a whacker. Hey y'all, Happy New Year. Welcome back. It's 2023 and the end of 2022 was hard for me. I was sick for pretty much the entire month of December. Not bad sick, like I was still able to function. I just didn't feel well. I didn't feel well. And I think, I don't know what I had. I did not have, I, I took home tests. I, it was negative. I never went to the doctor because it just felt like I had a bad, like a really bad cold. I didn't have like I don't think I had a fever. Anyway, it was just, just wasn't myself. I didn't feel super great the entire time of December. So now, um, the end of December, we went to the beach for, you know, that area, that time between um, Christmas and New Year's. A lot of people have been talking about it, where you lose time you don't know what day it is. You don't keep track of anything. It's just kind of like one of those whatever weeks, free for all weeks. So that happens to be when my birthday falls. <laughs> for the past 54 years, <laughs> it has been when my birthday falls. So I'm used to people going out of town, people, you know, people are tired from the holidays, and so my birthday never really gets celebrated until the next day, which is New Year's Eve. And now that I'm old, er, <laughs> it doesn't even get celebrated then because I'm too <laughs> I'm too tired to go out and stay out on New Year's Eve. So it is what it is. Okay, I just celebrate it myself, and I buy myself stuff, and I sing Happy Birthday to myself, and then it's the next day. So. Um, but anyway, it does fall in between that. But this year we went to the beach during that week. And so it was nice. It's actually, actually it rained on my actual birthday. But the day before my birthday and the day after my birthday, it was very nice. I mean, like it was in the 70s where I could sit out on the balcony. We went on the beach one day and I was just like, please just like give me some vitamin D or whatever vitamin the sun puts out and just give me something that makes me feel better. And I really do feel like it helped me feel better, but it might just be like a mental thing um, all in my mind. But anyway, start of the new year, I came back home, undid Christmas because when we got home, it looked like a, apparently we left in such a hurry after right after Christmas that we didn't do any cleaning or anything. So when we walked through the door, when we came back home, it looked like, you know, Christmas had thrown up all over our house. I mean, there was, there were still boxes everywhere and paper and it was like people had just done this and just left it there. There were dishes in the sink. I mean, it was just disgusting. I was like, did we really leave with our house looking like this? So that to my husband, he's like, yeah, we, we really, I don't, I mean like he had been drinking a drink and he just left it sitting out there. And I go, were you drinking this before we left? We were gone for like five days. So anyway, um, just funny. So we spent all of January 2nd, just getting the house back in order, putting all of Christmas up and and all, you know, throwing out food and just getting everything clean. And then I started, I was like, oh, I'm gonna cross stitch some. So I started watching whip parades and I was like, oh, I am not gonna do one. I'm, I'm not doing a whip parade this year, I'm not doing one. And um, <clears throat> then I decided that I am <laughs> because I just want something to kind of go back on and look for myself. So yesterday I kind of organized my uh, projects in categories. I do not know the date. I do not know the fabrics are started on. I didn't keep up with it. I, I'm a terrible record keeper. I just pick stuff out that I think looks good and I apparently don't write it down. So I don't know the fabrics on most of them unless it's like a kit or something. I um, 
I don't know the dates that I started them unless it was just like this past week. I'm just starting on it. I'm just starting fresh. So I will have something to show you where I'm at on this whip. And then next year when I do this again, maybe you'll see progress on them. Some of the whips I've already gone through like earlier in the year and just said, I'm done with you. I don't want to stitch on you anymore. You're not making me happy at all. And I've just um, UFO'd them, I guess is what you call it. Um, what does that mean? Unfinished object? Is that what it means? Um, <clears throat> some of them that I'm going to show you are, I mean, like I've had like two stitches in them or something. Very, very, anyway, I'm just, I'll just talk about them as I go. But this is going to be a long video because I'm already like five minutes in. And um, yeah, we're just going to start. All right, these are my sampler whips in progress. Whips in progress, works in progress, whips. This first one is called Blessed Are the Sons of Peace. It's by the Scarlet Letter. And these are not ironed or in, none, none of these are ironed. And this is how far I've worked on it. This is this is what I've done. Um, this whole tree, the whole tree right there is over one. It's like full coverage over one. It's crazy. Like the whole bottom part of this pattern is like a lot of it's over one. Who knows? This is one of those ones where I like it, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it or not. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's in here. I was trying to, I don't have, okay, this is what I need to do. These are the ones that have the pattern, the paper patterns in them that I can show you before I pull up the, the ones on the, because I'm gonna have to use my phone. I'm gonna have to use my phone to look up like pictures on Dropbox, I guess. Because um, my uh, other iPad thing isn't working. Okay, so this is gonna be a UFO, unfortunately. It is a fox and rabbit. Uh, what's the name of this? Elizabeth Cooper, 1866. And um, what I've done is that. And the reason why I'm not continuing with it is because I can't stand this fabric choice that I made. Not because I don't like the pattern. I love the pattern. Um, I just don't like, I don't like what I chose. I guess I was thinking, I don't know, when I looked at it, I, when I looked at it, it looked like a totally different color than what it's looking like to me now. To me, it looks like it has a lot of red pink in it. And it reminds me of like blush. <laughs> and I just, I don't know. I was, and it just doesn't go to me. It doesn't, doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. So I am not going to be working on that one again. The bike one, that one's not gonna happen. <clears throat> okay. This next one is a biggie. And I haven't done anything on it, hardly at all. I'm not even gonna say how, I mean, I did work on it because I started it this year, but haven't done much work on it. But it is called, And They Send, from Exemplars from the Heart. And it is that enormous, gigantic, Thing. And all I've done is up here at the top, which I will show you. 
And I don't know why I don't work on this one more. I think, I don't know, I'm not really that pleased with the fabric, but it is, it's already, it's already started. But that's, that's where I'm at. So I'm working in this like big cloud section over here. But that's like really just, that's the whole width of the pattern. Look, I don't know, I've got all this fabric and then it just, just goes on and on down. Um, but so you can see it's not wide, it's just very long. So that's and they send. And, and they send. I'll work on that more. I, I would like to finish like the first page this in 2023. That's not gonna happen, but I'd like for it to. <laughs> What's this? Okay. Y'all having fun? This is gonna be a really long video. Okay. The next one that I've worked on, I actually really like. I haven't done very much on it either, but it is Maria de Compadre. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. 1896, Maria de Compadre. This is from Lila Studio. I never know if it's Lila or Lila. Uh, for some reason, I think it's Leela, but I might be wrong. Okay, so anyway, L-I-A-L-A, L-I-L-A Studio. And I do know that I am doing this. Wait, is this right? Why do I have, I have so many things on so many different, okay. Yes, that's what I've done so far. Isn't it beautiful? It's it's beautiful to me. I I love that border. I mean, that's and that's why I chose it is because the of the very very pretty beautiful border. It's one strand over two on 36 count. And I'm using DMC the call for and I don't remember the name of the fabric. Sorry. It's just, I just chose like neutral fat. I didn't, I have pretty much with all my projects, I haven't, there's a few that I've used like a call for, but mostly no. I mostly, I don't use a call for. I just use like whatever I have. Okay. This next one is from a magazine. It is called, what magazine is this from? The Sampler and Antique Needlework Quarterly. It is from, reproduced by Christy Schmitz and Vicki Lepicolo Jennet. And if I'm like, is that um, Needlework Press? Is she the person? behind Needlework Press. Anyway, this is 1864 EF Sampler. <laughs> I like this one, but this is a questionable one whether or not I'll keep working on it or not. I, because, I don't know. Okay, but this is what I've done. I mean, it's pretty. Let me move this out of the way. Use my little, my little hanging threads. Okay, so, and I just kind of work my way down. I'm on the cow. There, it's the whole picture. So that's on that one. Again, I think this is on 36, 36 count, two over one. <clears throat> there's that one okay here's another one that I love 
that I definitely will be continuing to work on. But for some reason, it is on like a, the hugest piece of fabric. I don't know why. <laughs> maybe it's because maybe it's because it's big. I don't know. But it is from Reflet de Soie. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. I don't speak French. This is French, right? Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Reflet de Soie. <laughs> Someone just tell me what to say. I don't even know. Okay, so anyway, this is Yvonne Leclerc. 1905 and I was drawn in by all the pinks the pink the pinks I love pink and it, it was like bright that to me was like what really I was like oh when I saw this and I'm still that way it's just that it just takes a long time I've got this big huge piece of fabric but it has birds and stuff on it too. That is what I've done. Is that a hanging thread or a scratch on my camera? I can't tell. What is that? I think it's like a crack or something. Okay, so that's what I've done so far. So not much, but I do love this one and I will continue on with this because I want to see it come together. But I'm on, it's on this, huge piece of fabric I don't maybe it's just what I had at the time I don't have like I have other fabrics that I could have put it on but they're not maybe I didn't have it when I started it maybe I didn't because I recently just did get those I guess sorry if you don't like zipping but I've been doing a lot of it so I'm sorry all right, here's another one that I haven't worked on very much at all, but I did start this. I showed it to my husband. It's actually for him. Um, you know, or it's like our wedding sampler. It's actually called a wedding sampler, and it's by Theron, Theron Traditions, Catherine Theron, Needles and Pens. So it's a Needles and Pens sampler. I'm sorry, I'm sitting in front of a window because if I don't, the lighting, you wouldn't be able to see anything. And now there's just like a kind of like a glare on here. But there in this picture is anyway, needles and pens. And what drew me to this project, oh, things are coming out, are, um, you know what? I actually do have on written on here what I'm stitching this. I started this on 115.22. So not even a year ago. <laughs> And um, it's on 30 count portobello. That's what it says. So at least I have one that I kept track of. But what, what drew me to this is what it says. And I think it's funny. It says needles and pins, needles and pins. When a man marries, his troubles begin. Needles and pins. It's so true. <laughs> so, um... This is what I've done so far. So I'm actually working on the man, I guess. That's what that is. I'm not really sure, it's a, I don't really know what that is that I'm working on. I think it's the man without his head, but yeah, not very far. But I've done some. Uh, I need to work on that more. But you know what? I like working on things that I want to work on when I want to work on them. I have no plans, and I and you will and I don't have any plans. This is not a plan video because I honestly don't have a plan. I just wake up in the morning. And I'm like, what do I want to stitch on today? And sometimes I'm lazy and I don't even want to change what's, uh, what I stitched on the day before. I'm like, eh, I'm just going to stitch on this because I don't feel like changing anything out of the Q-snap or that's how, I, that's how I am. Okay. Let's 
see what's in here. Is there a picture in here? Nope. Hold on, just a little bit. And let me check these. Okay, so I guess everything else is gonna be on my Dropbox. So, um, let me pause and at least get the first one on here and then I'll probably just have to piece this all together. All right, this one is one I ordered from, um, off of 1884 Stitchery. It is called, it's, it's from a female worth and it's called Harriet Broadhead 1849. And I am using like I'm pick, using some of their colors. I'm picking out some of my own colors, whatever. And I've done um, this much. Oh, I didn't show you the whole finished thing. Let me show you first. I hope that you can see that Ugh, because of the glare on the, you know what? Mm, yeah, I'll change that. Can you see it? Maybe if I tilt it like that. So that's what it's gonna look like. And this is what I've done so far. I like it, I like the colors. Mm, I just work on too many things where I can't make more progress than I do. I don't know the fabric. <laughs> I do think it's, um, I think it's, I think it's 32 counts. I'm using two strands of floss on this one. All right, this next one, I'm sorry I keep itching my nose. This next one um, is from Hands Across the Sea and Hands Across the Sea Samplers. It's called Margaret Ferguson. The, mm, Mance of Harlow, a sampler from Scotland. Anyway, that is what it is. And all I've done is this. And I think, I don't even know which way it goes. Maybe this way. I don't know whether or I don't know if I'll I don't know if I'll continue that. I kind of feel like I'm, this is going to be a UFO. I, I mean, I like the pattern, but it isn't one that I'm like. It's not. It's very. It, it takes a long time. Like this, I think I like the other ones better that have the, a lot of the florals in there, and I'm not big on like the all the gold yellow colors in it. I I don't know why I even. I don't know. I like I, I was in a house mood and that's why I picked this one and I also like liked all the florals, but then I've got so many other projects now that I have lots of florals in them, like in the borders. I'm kind of mm, thinking that I might not continue that. So feel bad. But I mean, I'm I'm only gonna live for so much longer, probably. <laughs> I can't, I can't do everything. Oops. All right, this next one is another one from Hands Across the Sea and it is called Ann Thomas, 1850 war, 1854. I'm not really sure what, what just came out of my mouth right then. Um, so I, I, I like this one. I'm going to continue on to see what it, there's just things about it that I really like, but here's a picture. And you know what? Just hold on a second. It's going to take away some of my light, but is that better? I don't know if that's better or not. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. So 
We've gotten to that bird. And okay, so this is what this is where I'm at. I was using one over here in this area. I was started using just one strand of floss. And I like it, but then I was like, I don't know if it's showing up again. And so over in here, I started using two strands. So I'm not even sure what count fabric this is. If it's 36 or 32. But I think I'm just gonna stick with the um, two strands for the rest of it. And that's Ann Thomas, 1854. All right, this next one is from a book. It's um, Blackbird Designs. And it's, it's this, the Heart and Home Patchwork. It's this. But um, it's five different designs, okay? So, like, the first one that I'm working on is, I think it's called My Heart Blooms. It's kind of hard for me to show a picture, but it's that part. And I'm still kind of on the fence about this because I want to do it like in different fa fabrics, okay? And then stitch them all together and then and this is just like on a this is on a piece of um, needle and flax linen I believe but that's that's what I've done and yeah there that's what I've done on this I actually started something else on this which I'm not gonna complete not UFO'd UFO but um I don't know I don't know I don't know if that's too dark I started doing it and I was like oh that's too dark and I, I'm, I'm I'm on the fence about it I don't, I don't know if I'm going to continue that one or not so I guess we'll find out next year <laughs> my goodness so okay that didn't go in there so many things and so many so many things all right what's this okay gonna find this on my phone again right, this is another one that is by reflet de soie well, that's how i'm gonna say it it's called oh marie and this is the picture of O Marie. And this is how much I've stitched. I like this one. And I'm doing this one all in CXC floss but that I had in hand already. So that's, you know, I, I'm showing that I, it can be beautiful even with cheaper floss. Because <laughs> that it really, it, I mean, it, it is really pretty. So those are the only, I think those are the only two reflet de soie um, ones I have. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Let me just start with... Okay, I gotta go back on my phone. All right, um, I started working on uh, Hands Across the Sea Tom Foolery. There's a picture uh, right there. Um, I threw it away. I messed up on it. I, I don't even have it to show you. I just like tossed it. I was like, eh. I think I just got so frustrated with it and I was like, I'm done. So, bye Tom. All right, this next one is also going to be probably a UFO. I just, I don't see myself finishing it. I'm not gonna spend time working on it. I like the pattern. I just, um, I think it's 
The fabric that I'm working on is 40 count. I don't like 40 count. It's too hard for me to see. It gives me eye strain. It's John Foster, John Foster 1885 sampler. I bought this from, I believe, um, it's from Historic Stitches. And I believe it, I purchased this from 1884 Stitchery. That is the picture I wanted it because first of all, it was a, uh, like a man who, you know, a male figure who, who stitched this, which is unusual. And then the house, but then I was just, but then it just, it's just, I did a little bit of it. I did this and, and now I don't want to do any more of it. So, and it's really because, and this was, I actually have the tag of the, the linen here. I like this linen. It's um, called Heartland is the color. It's 40 count, but I don't want to stitch on the 40 count anymore. So that will not be going on at all. <laughs> I've done, I know, you know what? Okay, this is the deal, is that I'm not gonna waste my time stitching on things that I don't want to stitch on. I don't, that, I, that aren't, that don't make me happy when I'm stitching them. I don't want to do that, so. And that's another, I mean, that's why I switch around so much. I'm not, and I don't do a plan, it's because, um, why I don't have plans is because, and I probably should, then maybe I'd finish something, but it's just because I, just want to enjoy it when I'm stitching on it. I don't want it. I don't want to feel like a job. I guess is what I'm, is what I'm saying. I don't want it to feel like a job. This next one I'm going to show you, and this is the last in the sampler category. Um, this one is one I love, and I definitely will be continuing on with this one. Let me pull it out here, and it's beauty because I really do think it's beautiful. And I don't know the fabric, but this is another one from Hands Across the Sea. And it's called a Jane Hopkins 1875. You've seen this before. I love that, the, the colors in this one. And I'm stitching it on an even weave. And that is where I'm at right now. Now, okay, so this basket of flowers is pretty much like full coverage, which I love full coverage, so that's okay. And, but now I've kind of worked over here, started doing some of this. I'm using mostly the called for colors and I'm DMC, but also um, I pulled out some other kinds of like other colors too. <laughs> some silks here and there and some sections, but I love this one and I will finish this one because I enjoy it and it's two over one, two strands because I think it's 30, I don't know if it's 28 or 32 count. If this is one of the very first pieces of fabric that I ordered to try out something other than linen. So it's probably a 28 or 32 count. It's probably a 32 count, but I don't know. Everything looks small when I look at it without my, um readers on or magnification and that is my samplers now I told you this is gonna be so long I don't even know how long this is gonna take to upload I thought about dividing it up but nah okay um now I think I'm going to do my like full coverage full coverage projects that are like Okay, I'm just, these are like my full coverage projects. There's not as many, so don't worry. All right, so this next section section is my full coverage, and there are a lot of ones that I started and I've decided that I don't want to continue with. And I'm just gonna show you what they are because I talked about them in other videos, so. All right, so first of all, we're gonna start with this piece of fabric. Let me just show you what it looks like. I have one, 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six things started on this one piece of fabric. Six different projects. I have decided that there is no project that's going to be finished on this piece of fabric because it is cursed because I cannot finish anything that's on this piece of fabric. Except maybe I want to do that one. No, 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 no I'm done. Okay, so the first one, this part right here, is this little light of mine from Hands. It's um, artwork by Mandy Manzano. Tarted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Let me zoom in. Love it. It's just too much like darkness for me, dark black color for me, I found out. So that was, yeah, this part right here. Okay. I'm not even gonna show you the other ones. They're not even worth, I didn't even do enough of them to worry, to even, to even worry about but so this is going away I'm done I'm done with that done I'm done <laughs> okay I threw it it's near the trash can now I have really been I hope I don't dig it back out <laughs> I really hope I don't and I'll let you know if I do okay this next one let's see which one am I going for here here's another one of those where another piece of fabric where I have started um, three things on it. One in this corner, that was like a mandala of some kind. Then one in this corner, it's just basically, I don't even know what that is, it just looks like blue. And one in this corner right here. Um, I believe this was, from Heaven and Earth Design. It was like one of the Stitch in Time segments. I don't even, I'm not even pulling the pictures up. It's taking too long. I, it's, I'm not stitching these. I'm not stitching these. This fabric is, I might can use it for something else in the middle, like a small something, so I won't throw the fabric away. But I'm not stitching those either because they just, there's too much, too much. Um, then, how did y'all hear that? That was like my hip or something. I started on this. Okay. So, this one was also, I think, from Hands Across the Sea, and it was by, um, I don't remember the name of the artist like sea turtles of some kind. I cannot find the pattern. <laughs> I can't, and maybe that's why I haven't worked on it, but I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing it. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to finish it. I know. <laughs> I, th I told you, I've just, I'm not work. I'm not going to do things that I don't like that I, I'm not having fun doing. All right, another one that I'm not gonna continue. Maybe I just need to not stick, stitch full coverage in, because I'm not continuing any of the ones I've started. But this one is what's that? by Thread Geeks Cross Stitch. It's Clint Eastwood. Let me zoom in so you can see. And I was actually stitching this one for my husband because he loves Clint Eastwood. I stitched this much and I'm not continuing because I can see these lines of the fabric underneath it and it drives me nuts. I think it's awful. I don't know if they're gonna come out and I don't wanna keep stitching it if I can see those lines. So I'm not stitching this anymore and I can't do it unless it's all in this fabric. So that's disappointing. All right, the next one, I actually do not have a cover photo for so I can't show you but I am going to keep it because I think that it's not going to take that long to do I actually have the floss colors it only uses like I don't know maybe six colors of floss maybe ten or something I've got it on my stitch con charm 
with my floss drops that I passed out and when I was at StitchCon because 2022, you can see that, because I actually saw this pattern while I was there. So I was walking around, I took time out and was walking around the different tables and someone, I don't remember who it was, I'm sorry if you watch my channel, I don't think you do, but if you do, sorry, I can't remember who it was, but um, they were stitching on this pattern and I said, oh, I've got to, I've got to get that pattern. I do not know where it's where it is from our King King Stitcher on Etsy. It's called Heisenberg. So basically it's from breaking the show Breaking Bad, which I, my son and I started watching when he was back in high school. He is like our favorite show. And he got me like hooked on it. And this is Walter White and I've done this much. And you can see that's his eye. And it's really just his face. Okay, it's gonna be his face. And I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have a picture of it, but there's Walter White. Heisenberg though. It's gonna be good. And I'm doing this like on a, um, it's small enough to where I don't need like, like a, um, easy grid fabric and it's on I'm doing this like 14 count oatmeal something something so and you know it has a good story with it because I you know saw it when I was at StitchCon so I will continue that one yay I'm gonna continue a full coverage ugh okay let's see these Let me go back to my phone and find the next one. Okay, y'all, I'm having the hardest time finding my patterns on my phone. My pattern keeper is dead. <laughs> it is not working, so I'm having to go search in my Dropbox and have some of these patterns I just can't find. So this next one is from Heaven and Earth Design. It's a Hade. I've gone back and forth with trying to um, decide whether I want to keep this. I couldn't find the pattern on my phone, so I did pull up the artist's um, like art page or whatever, website, and um, found a picture of it. It's like, these are Valentine's Day cards. But it's called Katie and Cruncher, and this is an, <laughs> these are Valentine's Day cards, but it's by Hannah Lynn. It's Hannah Lynn is the artist. But it's basically this girl with a shark. Okay? I'm sure you've seen it before. It doesn't say roar like that one does. But it's that's what I've that's what I've done. Okay, so I haven't even gotten to her face yet. It's gonna be huge. It's really cool. The hair it looks really cool. Um, I've gone back and forth with doing this like one over or two over one half stitch and full cross and i've gone i've just done everything on this one and like right here i just i was like oh they're, they're gonna do tent stitch well i don't like tent stitch on this but i'm not gonna not do, i'm not gonna take that out or go over it i'm just gonna keep i might keep just i'm just gonna keep working on it I'm gonna keep, I did say I was gonna UFO it, but I've got all the floss because it's like really like one of the very first Hades that I bought. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it because I've got all the floss. And I might as well keep chugging along on that one. So let's see, that one is that one. I wonder how long we're on. All right, so this next one, I don't think I'm going to finish or continue on because I don't like the fabric I chose. So this one is um, by Jan Hicks, at Jan Hicks Creates, and it's called Find Your Joy. And it's like a full coverage kind of, okay? So really it's full coverage, but not on the, the black, it, the black part is not stitched. So everywhere else is, okay? 
So I was like, I can't stitch on black. And so I chose, I had this fabric that I had ordered for something else and I thought it was too dark for me to stitch on and I decided to use it. This fabric is from Fabrics by Stephanie called Driftwood and it's 32 count. And so that's what I've done so far, but I don't think I, I, I don't know. I like it better on the black. I like it better on the black. What do y'all think? Should I continue or should I UFO it? <laughs> that is a theme of my, what's this called? Um, whip parade. <laughs> Lord. I'm a mess. It seems like. Okay. Okay. This next one is, I guess, a full coverage. <laughs> it is. My, I'm laughing because what? Uh, sometimes I like wonder what am I getting myself into? Or what have I got myself into? Okay. This one is from Long Dog Samplers and it's called Watchers of the Dawn. And this is one that I had not seen before on their website and it was cheaper. And I had not done, done a long dog sampler before, and I still haven't, but it is this pattern. So it's really just like black, a lot of black, and then filled in with color. So it's, it's I, I say it's block stitching, I think. If I'm looking at it, it's block stitching, but when I get back in, when I get into the colors, who knows? It could be a bunch of like confetti. I don't even know. I haven't looked at the pattern besides the black part. And this is what I've done so far. And I'm gonna continue working on this because I just wanna see what it looks like <laughs> when I fill it in. I might just go ahead and start, when I finish this first block, I might start trying to fill it in. I was gonna do everything with black, with the black, but, and I've messed up on this. I've messed up on it so many times. And this is just on a piece of like Ada, white Ada. I think so that's it watchers of the dawn <laughs> this may this video may be like three hours long and a lot of whips a lot of whips this next one is by Gecko Rouge it is um, one of their gecko ho ho hoes, which is, it was like a mystery thing. You could pick your, um, you ordered in advance and it was like a surprise at what you got. But you could pick, I think you could pick the artist. I can't remember how it worked, but this is what I got. It's the artwork is by David Finney, David Finney. I think that's what it is and it's called at the window I actually really like it it's a little bird looking out and I like it I like it because it's got different colors besides just like Christmas like it's it's more of a it's Christmas but also winter but it's got some springing colors in it because of that yellow and anyway that is that and that's all I've done. And it's another one where I can see the lines of this easy grid through here and that drives me crazy. So I don't know if I want, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't wanna continue on doing this. Why can I see those? Is it because these are half stitches? I don't even know, but I don't want to continue doing it the whole, spend all this time on this project if I can see those lines through the color. Can you see what I'm saying? The lines? If I can see this and not knowing if they're going to come out or not. So I might not, might not finish this one. I don't want to spend the time on it if I'm, if I'm not sure. I just don't. Would you? I mean, come on. I'm sorry. I'm getting silly. 
Okay. And this last one, well, it's not the last one from Gecko Rouge, is one that I am going to continue on, but I have messed up on this one so much. It is by, the artwork is by Tom Fedro. It's from Gecko Rouge and it's called Bejeweled. Okay, and this cover photo is gone. I mean, it's bent, because this is like a travel piece, because it's a lot of block coloring. This should be done. This should be finished. It is only 20 colors, and it's a very heavy block stitching, but for some reason, I have like this mental block on it. That's all I've done, and I messed up here. Like that big blob should not be there, but I'm leaving it there. I'm not even changing it. Then, I used the wrong color here. I used a different color pink. That's not supposed to be there. I don't even know why. And then right here, I used the wrong color green. And I have them all sorted out in my bag. I just, I have just messed, you know what? I'm gonna continue it and I'm gonna say, this is the one that, this is, this is, imper this is imperfect. This is not perfect. Just like, just like we all are not perfect, and it'll remind me that I can be beautiful even though I'm not perfect. <laughs> Don't you love that? A little inspiration for this video. <clears throat> are y'all still with me? Because I feel like I'm going. Maybe I need to, I think I need to divide this up into two parts. Maybe I should just keep going. Okay, and I might when I download it, who knows. Um, oh, my screen is doing something really weird right now. This, next, this next one is my last like full coverage. Well, it's not really my last full coverage, but like in this category, full coverage, because there's another category called dimensions kits and that those are kind of full coverage as well but this one is the last one of just like full coverage charts that i bought from different places so this was from heaven and earth designs it's called the nativity and it's by the artworks by donna gelsinger and i love this i love this one i'm gonna have to turn it this way so you can see well shoot no i can't do it that way um, and I will continue to work on this one. So that is the artwork. It's just, it's the nativity. And I haven't, I, I feel like I have done a lot, but I've only done like 10% or so. So I've just got his head done, but it's a lot of confetti in the body part area, in the sky, in the background, it is not. I'm doing this on 25 count, two over one. Um, it's the easy count, but of course you can't see the lines, so it's okay. Uh, um, I think this is gonna be beautiful when um, I finish it. When you get up really close, you can see some of the white, because I'm only doing 10 stitch. But when you hold it back, you are not, you know, it's going to be very hard to tell that it's tint. You know, it's going to look, it's going to look good. Look at all those parked threads. But I, um, I worked a lot on this in November, I think. But that's where I'm at. The Nativity by Donna Gelsinger. Okay, and that is it for my, oh gosh, I'm shaken, for my um, full coverage section. Now we're gonna go on to regular, regular, um, just non, just all the other, <laughs> just regular cross-stitching patterns from different companies, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this first one is, this is the just random pattern from different designers and companies, okay? So this first one, I don't even know if I'm gonna take it out of the um, plastic, but it's from Hands On Design and it's part of the season two, um, like seasonal year of celebration continues. 
and it's the October one, which is down here, October, has the pumpkin, and I decided to be all crafty and stuff and do it on this perforated paper that I inked up with something, and um, yeah, that's what I got, too. I mean, it'll be really cool if I finish it. <laughs> really cool if I finish it. I'm just grabbing these really quickly and I'm gonna leave them just for time. I feel like I'm just gonna leave them in their paper. Um, the next one here is, their sleeves unless you just can't see it, is Sil Teresa Kogut's Scylla Witches Quaker. I know that there's a reflection I'll try to get it to where you don't have a reflection. So this is now a stitch along with um, Belushi stitches and animal sti stitcher. Is that am I saying that? I started it on this fabric right here, which is from, I think it's like an 18 count, 18 count called like trick or treat or something like that from I don't know what company, I don't know. And then I switched it because I wanted to try 40 count. I switched it before we started the stitch along and I got that part because this is on 40 count and I know I said I didn't like 40 count, but I actually didn't mind doing this and I think it's just because it's, it's one color and I'm stitching in hand and I don't have to switch color, you know, the threads except when I run out. It's just easier for me to do this kind of stitching in hand. And this fabric is like, it's kind of like an orangey, burnt orange color. So it looks Halloween-ish. See, I mean, they're, they're kind of somewhere. <laughs> but that's that one. And I'll continue on with that when I feel like it. And I am going to just put everything back because I don't want to just leave it. I won't zip it up now. It'll be too loud if I do that. Okay. Um, I don't have... Excuse me, Zipper. I don't know why I haven't finished this one. But uh, for Christmas last year, I got a whole bunch of these um, like Lizzie Kate stand-up patterns. This is Clara O'Hare, and I haven't even completed the first one. That's Clara O'Hare. Cute, not very big, but can't finish it because of all the other things. Maybe I will finish it in 2023. What do you think? Do you think I will? I don't know. This is so much fun. I love it when I have a picture. That is, you know, I think that I want to do that. That's another like goal. I'm going to have to buy some ink. I want to print out the cover pictures for all of my projects and put them in the bags because I'm getting tired of searching for them in my um, iPad and Pattern Keeper. Okay, this next one is called Cardinal Biscornest by Crossed Wing Collection. And I'm doing this nest in a Biscornu. And I first saw these on Amy Loves Toad's channels. I think she's done like all four patterns that are available. And um, I'm doing this, oh, I have the sticker on here. 28, I'm doing this on a 28 count raw natural linen. And that is where I'm at. And the part of this that I'm in right here, the egg, the eggs are one over one. So that is very challenging. So that's why it's going slow. But this part is 
this part is like two over one, so it's not as bad. I mean, two over two, two over two. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> and the, it also on this pattern has this, the pattern for this cardinal um, scissor fob, which I'm not doing. Maybe I will after, if I can finish that one ever. <clears throat> this is another one that I started this past year and it, I didn't get very far on it. I don't know why, just got out of the mood. But this is like my very first Nora Cor Corbett and it's called Electra. And I'm doing it on the, I think this is the called for fabric called 32 count milk chocolate. And I don't know, I don't know which way is up and which way is down, but I'm just gonna hold it this way so you can see the colors, but that's where I'm at. I don't know which way it goes. I'll have to examine it later on. Not far, maybe that way. I don't know. Probably that last way. <clears throat> Let's see, what other one has a chart in it? Okay, this is gonna be a UFO. I started on this chart, or this um, sampler from Jan Lynn. I ordered off Amazon, it's called A Virtuous Woman. Oh my gosh, my camera's doing something weird, hold on. I'm using this old phone to film on and I have no idea what's going on with it. So this one is from Jan Lynn. It's called A Virtuous Woman, I ordered off of Amazon. And I messed up on it and I'm not continuing. It's not on the fabric. I got all off counts when I was doing it. And anyway, I'm not gonna continue it. So I'm just, I'm just gonna um, UFO it and be done with it. That's the UFO pile. Okay. This next one is from Lindy Stitches. It is Strutting Tom. I actually lost this one for a really long time and then I found it again and I decided to start working on it but haven't done very much on strutting tall. It's not big. I don't even know if this is the way it's supposed to go, but um, that's it. Strutting Tom is not strutting so much right now. Strutting Tom is laying down and taking a nap. Okay. This one I've been working on for the longest time from Tiny Modernist, The Haunted Mansion. It is a seven part series. I'm still working on the house. I might've started on a room this past year. I don't know. Let's take it out and look. I did. I started on a room, but you can see, I haven't even finished the house, but you can see that I've gotten a lot done There you go. So I need to finish this side over here and uh, and, and, and some in the front, you know, like down in the yard or whatever for to finish the house part. My phone is acting up. Um, anyway, then I can finish, work. On, I can work on the rooms. There is one of the rooms that I started working on. So yeah, Haunted Mansion. I guess this could technically be like in the sampler section, but it's not. Anyway, this is from um, Forbidden Fiber Co. It's Bridgerton. It was like a, I don't know, like a specialty box thing. 
and that's what I've done on it. <laughs> the border. It met up. It met up. So, I mean, I've done the hard part. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I haven't really worked on this much. But I haven't. But that's from uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. Ooh, I just inhaled something there. This one, I actually worked on. It's a Riolis kit. It's called Romance. And I um, worked on it and I lost the part that I worked on. Like the fabric and everything. But guess what? I found a whole nother pattern. I don't know why I have two of these has the floss and everything in it. So I'll just, I might start it over on, um, I might do this on a different fabric than this white. It's on white Ada and I might do it on like a, a linen. It'll be pretty. I like, I like the hair, like the, um, the shades of her blonde hair. And so, I mean, I guess technically that's not a whip because I lost it. Happens. It does to me anyway. Okay, that one I need, that one I need. Um, all of these other ones, I don't even know if I want to show. Okay, so this is one I have. I don't have a picture. Well, I have a picture for. This is from Cooler Classic Charts, Cooler Designs, and this is part of the Nativity figures that I've been working on. And the one that I'm working on now is Mary. I've done like three of these so far. And where is Mary? Uh, she's on the same page as here. See, here's that's Jesus, the one I completed, and now I'm working on Mary. And they're really pretty, and I haven't done any back stitching on it yet. So, Mary. I'm kind of holding them still so you can see them, and also so I can, like, maybe take a, like a screenshot of them and save them for myself. So I can look back and see if I finished any of these. Okay, this is one. I can't remember who this is by. I think D's 20 stitching. <clears throat> I don't have the picture of the, I don't know where the, I'm not going to pull it up. It's on my phone and my phone's about to go dead. So I'm just not even, these last, these last few, you're just going to have to use your imagination on. I don't have anything to show you. But this was like, a pattern like a haunted house pattern and it's on this um, glow-in-the-dark fabric with ghosts these like ghosts uh, glow-in-the-dark I'm not going to finish this just because I'm just I've got so many other Halloween stuff I need to work on uh, the other stuff and I just for some reason, these ghosts were getting on my nerves. I might use, it's a big piece of fabric, so I might use it for something else. I just gotta figure out what, um, but I'm not going to, that's gonna be a UFO. I can't remember the name of it. It was like um, by D's 20 and Kari something, and it, um, It was really cute. Okay, this one, I don't, I'm not gonna look up the pattern, but you've probably seen it before. It's by Autumn Lane Stitchery, and it's called The Witch's Spell. The Witch's Spell. And let me just pull these out so you can see kind of where I'm at. And I will continue doing this because I like this pattern, and I've got this special fabric that's like, I think it's called Hades Realm or something like that. 
but this is, um, I mean, I like the pattern. I don't know why I just can't get in the mood to finish it, but I've done the witch, like the witch's face, she's kind of looking down and, um, yeah, so that's what I've done so far. The Witch's Spell by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And sorry, I just, like I said, my phone is about to die. So I want to really get through these. This is another one from Carolyn Manning, and it's called Rock Hound. I don't have the cover photo, but it's basically, this is the pattern all the way. I mean, like different colors of different, like, I don't know what you call those. Um, like gems that are cracked open or whatever. What is it called when they're, anyway, it's rock hound. And it uses a lot of this floss that's sparkly, a toile, I think it's called. And this is on a, um, like fiberlicious yummy fiber fabric called, I think it's called like Twilight and it's a 18 count fabric. It's really pretty. <clears throat> and this is a, it's called like Love USA and I can't remember the name of the, where I got this on Etsy. I can't remember, but that's all I've done. I don't know if I'll finish doing this. I'm not really happy with the fabrics. That's why I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll finish this or not. This might be a UFO. I haven't decided. There's other flag patterns. So I'm gonna do one that I think I'd rather do more than that one is what I'm saying. If I'm gonna spend time, might as well do what I'm gonna do what I wanna do. This is a salt box house. This is from Pinker and Pumpkin. It's called Turkey. I don't know what it's called. Turkey holler something. I think it's I think it is. Um I started this and I thought that it was, the house was blue, but when I pulled out the color of fabric or the, the floss that it called for, they looked very green to me, which I didn't want. I don't, I was wanting like a blue, like the light blue. Anyway, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish that either because it's not, it's not what I was drawn to. It's not what I wanted. <laughs> And two more. This kit from Busilla. It is Santa Claus. It's like a you know a calendar that you tie candy on. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this or not. I haven't done that much. That's all. I mean, I think I spent like $5 on this kit. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. It's been hanging in my closet. I have no desire to do it. Since I finished my other advent thing, I kind of and don't think I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't need two advents. And I did finish my other like felt one, which I love, the Santa one which I think I put a picture of it on Instagram. So I'm kind of thinking I might not do that. And the last one of these is, God, how long have I been doing this? I've been doing this for like an hour and a half, um, is my temperature chart. This is from Climbing Goat. It was my temperature chart for 2022. And it was Climbing Goat Designs puts out some. There's one that's really cool for this year. This one was like some sort of like Starburst or something. Yeah, I didn't do it. I did it like, you know, in January when you're like, kind of like your diet or my diet. And you're like, I'm gonna go on a diet. And then like it lasts for like five days and then you're done. 
That was me on the temperature chart. I hate stitching on black too. <laughs> like, I li don't like it. Um, so, it's a big piece of black too. UFO! Okay, so that are, those are all the <sighs> miscellaneous charts from different um, cross stitch companies and designers. Now, the last section I have are the dimensions kits that I have and the ones that I have started and what I have not, I have a lot that I haven't started, but I was going to show you what I've done on the ones that I have started, which is not very much but there's something, so um, that'll be up next. <laughs>